Coming up here on Mountain News this morning, crews in one eastern Kentucky County begin to clear up a major rock slide and a major flooding in our region sets a bridge project back just one week before it was meant to be finished. Dedicated to eastern and southern Kentucky, this is WYMT Mountain News this morning. Good morning to you. It's Wednesday and it's 532. I'm Dakota Makris and it's a mild start today. I don't really think it's that cold outside. Let's head over to Brandon for a look at that forecast. Brandon, you may agree with me. You might disagree with me. I think it's very, it's very warm outside this morning. Here's what I think is making it feel warmer than mm -hmm. it actually is. That southwest wind is warm. So when you feel the wind on your skin, right. that's, that's why it's making it feel warmer than it actually is. But yeah, it's still in the 40s out there, which is a bit on the chilly side, but uh, Again, not too bad. There's still some snow up on top of uh, Whitesburg Pine Mountain this morning. We'll take a look at that camera and you'll see that on the sides of the road there. We're continuing to watch that and we'll keep you posted on that as we get a little bit deeper into it. But we might have some more to add to it as we head through the daytime hours tomorrow. We'll talk more about that in a little bit. Looking at temperatures right now, 28 Jonesville, 34 Wise, 40 or above everywhere else, including into the mid 40s in Williamsburg and Jacksboro. So those temperatures actually going up just a little bit there. So between those uh, 20s, 30s and 40s, I split the difference there on our breakfast forecast and we're going to say about 41 by about 7 o'clock this morning and then we'll see temperatures go back up again as we head through the daytime hours, even with the cloud cover with that wind cranking in here and you look at your 12 hour planner again I do believe we'll get close to 50 today maybe some sunshine later sunrise 749 sunset 529 Dakota all right Brendan thank you while well, Pike County deputy died Sunday 70 year old Gary Stephen Butch McCoy died at Pikeville Medical Center a Pike County native Butch was a former heavy equipment operator he served Pike County as a deputy with the Pike County Sheriff's Department for around 32 years McCoy is described as a people person who was always a had a kind word and a big smile for everyone. In Perry County, state police are looking for a missing father and daughter. Now they say they were last seen in the Balls Fork community on New Year's Day. There they are on your screen. They say 69 year old Dale Williams has gray hair and blue eyes and is five foot eight, 145 pounds. 43 year old Misty Williams has brown hair, hazel eyes, is five foot four and 210 pounds. Police say she has autism. If you have any information, you're asked to call state police. Rock slides and breakups are popping up, leaving areas like Prestonsburg seeing heavily traveled roads closed. Our buddy Forbes has more from Kentucky 321. A Monday night rock slide. These types of incidents increase with the weather, with the sheer amount of rain that we got. Uh, the water has to go somewhere. Leaving behind several weeks worth of work. This is the biggest one we have by far. I've been here over 20 years, and this is the biggest one I've seen. When calls came in about the late night slide on Kentucky 321, officials say they expected a usual cleanup, but this time was different. We're in probably as long as a fire truck and twice as tall. So you're talking about a lot of work to get that. It's going to take a lot of hammering to get those out of there. That hammering kicked off Tuesday as crews work to clear the roadway and secure the site. First, it's not just cleanup. We've got to make sure that it's safe to reopen. And though the road is expected to be closed for at least two weeks, no homes or businesses are cut off. But Prestonsburg Mayor Les Stapleton encourages people to remember that closure so they can plan an alternative route as needed. If you're leaving the city of Prestonsburg, you're going to the hospital, the quickest route, which is this roadway, is not open. Prestonsburg Police Captain Ross Shirtliff says the call could have been much worse. It's obvious that, that it would be a, a, a catastrophe uh, had it been, had there been a collision with it. And while discussions continue through the community about better securing the site in the future. They've got a huge pie and a very, very small uh, knife with which to cut it. He says restoring access and community safety is the number one priority. In Prestonsburg, Buddy Forbes, WYMT Mountain News. Well, Shirtliff says there is no reason to believe anyone was injured during the slide, and they were lucky it happened when the road was not busy. Now, as the winter weather continues, officials urge caution on roads, saying the constant freezing and thaw of the rocks will cause more issues. A road is reduced to one lane in Breathitt County due to a major break in the pavement. Now, the break is near the, Ros the Rosau community, just three miles west of Kentucky 542. Now, signs are put out to alert drivers, and signals will also be added 
Transportation cabinet workers are asking drivers to drive safely and slow down as they neared this part of the road. Repair work has not yet been scheduled. Some eastern Kentucky counties and cities declared a state of emergency following weekend flooding. We talked with county officials about how cleanup efforts are going. Community members and county crews begin to clean up after flooding. Friday night, you know, when the rain just kept uh, uh, pouring, you know, wave after wave, I was concerned. Breathitt County got more than three inches of rain Saturday. When my phone started ringing Saturday morning before daylight, and, and it was one call after another, then I knew we were in ter terrible shape. Saying roads and pipes washed away. I'm needing like six, six foot pipes right now just to get people in and out of the holler. County officials declaring a state of emergency after floods swept through. The judge has to be the one to declare it, and uh, my DES put it together Saturday morning or Saturday day, and then uh, Monday morning when it first came in, we went ahead and signed it, sent it to Frankfurt. Saying they are better prepared to handle severe weather, especially after historic flooding last March. This here was just a, a, a flash flood, and I mean, uh, instead of and it did get into some homes, and uh, I know of a church over at Joe Littlefort. But Judge executives in neighboring Lee, Wolf, and Perry counties offering help. You know that's just how, how how neighbors are in in in, in, in Kentucky, uh, and you know they reached out to me and uh, just you know just warmed my heart to know that they're willing to help. Neighbors helping neighbors in Breathitt County, Dakota Makers, WYMT Mountain News. Well, a spokesperson with the Spire Appalachia in Breathitt County tells us they are beginning to collect donations for those who were impacted by the flooding. After flooding hit multiple communities in Pike County, one bridge project on Kentucky Route 199 was set back. KYTC officials and crews were disheartened to find major damage to the updated bridge in the McAndrews area of Pond Creek Road, and now they must focus on cleanup and repairs. The flooding caused one side of the double box culvert to be filled with mud and debris. The 20 foot, a 20 foot section of the detour route to be washed away and some of the adjacent Pinson Fork Road to be nearly destroyed. All of this damage happened just one week before finishing the project. We were kind of just cleaning up around the job, getting ready to take the detour out when the flood hit. And then it kind of helped me take it out. So <laughs> Tuesday was the first day of the cleanup efforts, and Wright says the repairs could take an additional two to three weeks longer than he had expected to finish the bridge. Following the heavy rain and flooding during the weekend, several homes and businesses in our region were affected. Bevins Elementary School in Pike County was one of the places impacted by the flood. But thanks to community support, the school was able to bounce back. Arlissa Williams spoke to school officials and community members about the power of a helping hand. On Saturday, Amy Rhodes, principal at Bevins Elementary School in Sydney, got a call she never expected to receive. I was really devastated because I thought we've never had water get around the school. Water was surrounding Bevins Elementary School. I just kind of wanted to cry because, you know, we've already been having such an emotional, rough year, past couple of years with COVID and getting you know, the kids back in the building, and I thought, oh, is this going to set us back even more? Once the water subsided, maintenance and construction crews from the district stepped in to help, but the flood left students and their families needing extra assistance. We just have so many people in our community that don't have water at the, at the time. That's when several members of Connection Church in Pike County reached out, offering to collect and donate water for those in need. You know, after talking with her and finding the best way to meet the need, you know, we knew that supplies were definitely something with water and things of that nature. So it feels really good to help people in our community and to meet those needs because that's really what the church is supposed to be. When damages are assessed, the church will also be helping to support a family impacted by the flood. You know, you have your, your blood family, and then I say you have your work family, and then you have your church family. And I know that I can count on any of those three equally, you know, the same to be there to help. Coming together to pick up the pieces and to impact those who need it most. In Pike County, Alyssa Williams, WYMT Mountain News. Well, if you're interested in donating water or items to the Bevins Elementary Family Resource Center, you can contact Bevins Elementary or Connection Church. We'll have that contact information on our website at WYMT.com. State Highway crews and are pre-treating roads today ahead of that expected winter weather on Thursday. 
Crews will be spraying brine on the roads, which will dry and then be activated by snowfall. They say that can really help in the first few hours of snowfall and stop frozen precipitation from bonding to the roads. We'll just head this morning. Fans of a late comedy legend organized on social media to pay tribute to her legacy while raising money for a good cause. Snow is on the way back to the mountains, and this time everyone could get in on the action. I'll track out our chances in about three minutes.